You're listening to a Skewed Orbit original podcast. Time, weather, and... Hello, friends. Hello, hello. Welcome back to the Rachel LaForce Show. I'm Rachel LaForce, and this is my show. Um, Guys, I'm going to keep it real with you. Today is day two of my cycle, and if it could go wrong, it has go wrong. And it has gone wrong. It has go wrong. It's all wrong. It's not. We are blessed. We are blessed. Okay. But that's the mood I'm in. But this is the perfect day mood and like actual energy that I feel like I'm existing in right now to talk about what we're going to talk about today. So if you've been listening along, you are on your own journey. You have been implementing some of this stuff. My assumption is that it's really resonating with you. So we're going to continue to build on the actual energy of what's happening, of what we have been working on. And so much of this year has been about really like shedding. And then every time we think we can't shed more, there's more to shed. And like up, 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 I feel like is the energy like always. Like you want to get comfortable. You want it. And they're like up, 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 up. You know, like they're like, we got places to go. What are you like laying down on the job? Let's go. And that's not saying relax because I know one of you are like, well, rest is productive, Rachel. That's not this. That's that's not what I'm saying. Okay, what I'm saying is that we are really being called to use this year specifically as this major prosperity shift. And although it feels, I won't speak for you, but for me, relentless in a lot of ways. I mean, numerology, uh, in numerology, I am having a five year, which is like work, swords, going to war. So I'm not shocked that I'm like, mama needs a break. Um, but collectively, we're in an eight year, which is a little bit softer, but it is really, um, it's a little bit more of like a commanding energy. And if we use this year to, quote unquote, get a lot done, the energy is here to support us in doing that. So especially for those of us listening, those of us that are tapped in and whatever that means to you, it does feel relentless in a lot of ways. So certainly take the breaks when you need them, slow down all of those things. And also with that, that's why what we're talking about today is so integral to all of these things, which is energy work. And I don't necessarily mean that's such like an open-ended thing. And I know so many of you are energy healers and all of these things. So I'm going to be using these words as a little fluid. I'm going to trust that you can read between the lines. Cool. Let's go. So what I, I hate to be the one to tell you, oh my God, this just like, ah, (laughs) it hurts. Um, Apparently we don't ever get to a place of consciousness or evolution or healing where maintaining a high energy frequency, uh, maintaining that energy that will attract what it is that we're wanting to bring in our, into our life happens naturally. You're right. That sucks. I don't, this whole time, six years, this whole time, all six years, I've been like, well, eventually we'll get to that place where it'll all just come naturally, right? Ah, No, apparently that's not how it works, right? In the same way where even if you have changed your lifestyle and the way that you're eating is in support of your body. So maybe you used to eat a lot of late night pizza, And now if you indulge in pizza, you make like a gluten-free pizza and you make it at home, right? Um, Meaning in the same way of like, so let's say you're eating well all of the time. That is in your routine. Still, every time you sit down to eat or you go to a restaurant or you make yourself food, you have to make that choice, right? You still have to make that choice for yourself. Um, And I'm not saying this is not about eating and restriction. It's just a, a good example of multiple times a day we choose to nurture and feed our body. And some days like yesterday was the first day of my cycle. And I'm like, okay, I need to nurture my body with something warm and grounding. And also like mama needs some chocolate. Right. So I went and I got a, like a butternut squash, like gluten-free vegan soup and a chocolate chip cookie. You know what I mean? Like there's balance. 
but in knowing that I had to make that choice, like what is the choice that best services me in this moment? And that's what energy work is to maintain a high energy frequency. And however you would define that for yourself, that is a daily hourly check-in. Yeah, I know it, su- it sucks. That's what I told It sucks. Like I'm not here for it. You know what I mean? But the beautiful thing about that is that we don't ever at any point have to be at a certain relationship with our body. We don't have to be making a certain amount of money. We don't have to have a certain amount of money in the bank. We don't have to have the perfect holiday card. We don't have to like how many clients you have. Like, no, none of that. Whether you booked the job or didn't maintaining a high energy frequency, maintaining an aura that people go, huh, I wonder about that person, right? That's a thing that's available to you no matter where you are in this process. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Now you're hearing me, right? Because so often we're like, well, once we, and that that's, it almost feels like you guys know, I always say this, I'm not the only one, that so much of when we kind of hashtag come online to our ability to make choices in our world that begins to feel like a video game, I feel like this is the Easter egg. This is that, I don't like the terminology of quantum leap because I just feel like it's, it's like the Stanley Cup of like new age spirituality. You know what I mean? Everyone's like, this is your quantum leap, you know? Um, take it or leave it. That's just my opinion. And so I feel like we, this is that Easter egg. This is that quantum leap of knowing like, that's the lie. That's what we buy into of like, oh, once I'm blank, then I'll have this big energy field. Once I blank, then my energy will be able to welcome in fame, money, the perfect partner, that uh, job opportunity, more clients, And that is backwards (laughs) because at any point we can decide to like open that up. And I felt like, uh uh-oh, egg on my face, put a dunce hat on me and sit me in the corner. I'm like, that's what stand-up is, you big dumb idiot. It doesn't matter what kind of day I've had. It doesn't matter what kind of day I've had or what has happened or whatever. When those stage light goes on and it's time to go, all of that falls away. And magically, without thinking, I know how to like... Right. It feels almost it it does feel like a, you know, a phoenix not to be so on point, but like my energy unfurls so that 50 people, 300 people, 2000 people, however many I'm performing for, I'm like, they are in my energy field. I have pulled them into me, into this energy that I want them to feel and the way that I want this experience to go. Right. So I have been doing that a lot for the majority of my life. And yet thinking it in a different context, it seems difficult. And I'm sure that for a lot of you listening, your healers, your teachers, your artists, your, I'm going to guess that that same practice resonates with you when you go into audition or you, yeah, you are meeting with clients or maybe you're the head of a marketing firm. And when you're meeting with like, you know, the heads from DC or New York or LA, However, this fits in for you and your life. I'm going to guess there is an aspect of your life where like that energy field, you don't even have to think about it. It's autopilot because you have done it so often. But it wasn't that easy when you started. It's just that in that area of your life, you know how to literally hit that switch and turn it on. So that's the great thing. Again, going back to this um, real subpar uh, metaphor of the choices we have to make with eating in order to nurture ourselves. And we make that choice multiple times a day. And even though, you know, we eat well, most of the time, there's still always that choice again of like, okay, I could choose in service of myself or I could choose what's easy. Right. And so it's the same thing with our energy. You have multiple times to choose. So I want you to focus on and find what is, so now we're going to break it down in three pieces. Okay. So one, I want you to find what is that area of your life where having that high frequency energy field is natural to you. You are in your domain. You are in the zone, right? That nobody could tell you otherwise. And I want you to focus on what does that feel like? What does that feel like? What is it? When did it start for you? What are all the different places it takes you? And what does it mean to have all eyes on you? 
in a way that feels positive. Because often of us, so, so many times I sat in, in, um, in some circles recently, and that was a lot of what people were sharing of this idea of I'm, I'm ready to be seen. I want to do what's next. And, and I very much feel the same way, right? Um, which is why all of these things are being mirrored to me. And it is that where often it feels uncomfortable to be seen. It feels unsafe, right? And that makes sense because that goes back to, you know, ancient ancestors. And it's like, if the whole town is looking at you, that's not really good. That's not good. That means you're on trial or, you know, they're about to have your head most of the time. So that's why we have this intrinsic, literal piece of us. That's like, I don't want to stand out even when the higher part of ourselves is no, we do want to stand out. Right. And so just knowing that, 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 that inner battle, that, we're not going to say battle, that that awareness exists, that duality exists within us and that we have the ability to override that, right? And the way that I sat down today and this morning is even though yesterday we were out of, um, you know, Mercury is officially not retrograde, but now we're in this post shadow. And so all of these issues of getting the internet started this morning and everything else just took too long to get here. My hormones are annoyed. I don't want to be here is what I'm saying. And so I had to hit that override button. Well, yeah, all of that exists and it's not fun and we could live there. Or we could go, mm, today's probably not going to be great, but you know what? You know what? I'm going to make it as good as I can, right? And I know that sounds so annoying if you're having a bad day. Like, I'm here for it. I get it, okay? But you still have the choice. And, right, like I always say, you choose your hard. So that same idea comes into this next level of our work. So one, I really want you to get comfortable and aware of where the spaces, places, people, things that you do where that energy is lit up for you without even having to think about it. Then the second part I want you to think about is what can you do for yourself perhaps multiple times a day that we can get you to the ability where almost you're like snap your fingers and like again. Imagine that phoenix. Imagine those big feathers, those big wings. That's just what makes sense for me. But however you imagine your aura field of like wanting it to go out big, of wanting it to attract people and knowing that being safe is okay. That being safe means that people see you and that they love you because they are going to give you back what you are giving them. And when you give them your full energy, when you give them your full heart, when you give them your full expression, they give that back to you, right? Now, even there are going to be people that like they're attracted to you and they don't know why, right? You're going to notice when you're doing this. Oh, that's the third part. Hold on. I'm not going to get to that part. So the second part, how can you multiple times a day get to that place where like you're, un you're unveiling your energy into that aura field, right? What would that look like? What would that feel like? Okay. So that we can get where, yes, it's work, but in the same way of like, most of the time feeding yourself. I mean, I know those of us that get busy and we're the people where it's like, oh, I can't slow down to eat, but like, it's just a part of what we do. How can you get to where three times a day, let's do morning, afternoon, and night, you are aware of cleaning your energy? Because here's the thing, when we talk about energy work, we often talk about, oh, after readings or when I'm with um, these folks from my family that I don't really vibe with or these places where we will release their energy and kind of like call ours back in. But that still feels very insulary. That still feels very um, kind of like, I think we have the uh, 12 uh, aura fields, right? So it's like one, two, three, that goes all the way out. That's a lot, right? So typically when we're talking about that sort of energy work, you're talking about maybe one to five, one to five. And I'm talking, that's a different aspect of what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is like, I'm going, we're going whole ham, okay? Whole hog here, one to 12, all the way out. And I want us to get into that practice. And I always, I always love it because I feel like it's an accordion, right? There's not everywhere I go that I want people to notice me, <laughs> right? Okay, I'm not a complete narcissist comedian. Everybody look at me. But meaning like there's going to be times or spaces where like you're really going to want to protect that energy. So you may be pulling that accordion in. But there may be other places, again, as we're beginning to mess with this, and this is going into number three, where there's so many places to test this energy out. You're going into Target, pretty safe place, uh, lots, of, lots of folks there. Let's try that of like going all the way out to 12, maintaining in that frequency and that energy. What does that feel like? And can you move through a Target and not 
walking through literally peacocking of like, do you see me? Do you see me? But as an energetic frequency, the way that you're showing up, uh, maybe you're at the, um, the checkout that's supposed to be faster, but it never is because it doesn't ring up. Self-checkout, there we go. Um, and then somebody has to come over and help you. And, you know, what would that like, oof, heart center feel like? Right. Can you notice like, oh, more people are looking at me, more people are talking to me when I smile at someone, they smile back right away. There are very safe places like this where you can begin to test that out for yourself. And so that's just what I'm going to leave us with, because I feel like going into May is a lot of our testing ground, June, and then like it's really going to start to bloom and take off. And this is really the work that we're going to do now so that next May May of 2025, we can look back and go, whoa, like there is major, major growth around your audience. And that may be an actual audience. Like for me, in many ways, that may be an actual audience. I can start to do more and more shows. I'm doing more live, uh, Rachel LaForge, right? The actual audience. Now that may also be audience can be a lot of different things. Okay. So I'm going to let you fill in the blank on that. But that is still very true, especially for a lot of us, that that's what's going to be growing. Audience can also be opportunities. Those opportunities are going to start to pop up for you. But we have to, again, become aware of what those are, right? So really opening up. In fact, we talked about that on the Misfit Light on Monday of all about opportunities and being aware of that. So if that's something that you're, is kind of like in your mind and in your frequency right now, highly encourage you to go back and listen to that. So that is so much of where like, because also when you have your arms out, when you have that, the, the, the accordion is all the way open, you have 12 levels of your aura field. Of course, more people are going to notice you, be attracted to you because it's, it's open. It's that heart is open. And I want to remind us that the difference between, I want to go to the difference of what we're wanting to maintain comes from our heart. This is not a strategy. This is not led from, oh, if I do this and this and this, like if you're already thinking that way, I'm going to let you know it's not going to service you because this is, this is truly getting so close and so aware of our heart and what our heart wants to share. And this is so much about self-safety that we have built, remember, safety, or was it security and pleasure, right? Those two card reads that we recently went through. This is building on that. It is safe to be seen. It is safe to love fully. It is safe to unfurl. So that when we're leading from that place, what we're showcasing to everyone else around us is it's safe to be here. It's safe to be yourself. And whether people are conscious of that or not, that is all people want, period. All anybody wants is to feel is that they belong, that they are seen and that they are safe. That's it. It's literally that safe or easy. Well, also maybe I already said it. It is that safe, right? Come on in. The water, the water's fine, right? So those are the three things. We're just going to leave it there. I'm going to pull a card, but it really is that simple and easy today. One, two, and three. And this is something that we're going to keep building on. We're going to come back to this. Um, but when I was really sitting with like, where are we at? And, and that, that really is it. And, and it was so funny because, you know, you guys know that I got this new deck recently because I've been doing all this inner body work since August of last year. And I knew that so much of this year, this new part of my journey is my outer world that I have been doing so much in my inner world. And obviously our outer world shifts and changes as we do that inner work. But now it's really time very specifically for me to, how do I move through the world? What do I wear? How do I show up in spaces? This does not mean giving more away of myself that I don't need to. And that's the same for you. But this is an aspect of that, of how do we want to attract and mold our outer world? How do we want people to see us? Now, again, that'll go into a whole other thing of people see us based on their own reality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying, let's say you have control. Just for a minute, just for fun, that you do have control. What do you want people to know? What do you want them to know about you? How do you want them to feel when they engage with you? So this is a lot of that. So I think it's interesting that I picked up this subtle body Oracle deck. Um, and I, I really wasn't even thinking that I was going to be on this new, dare I say, aura journey. Uh-oh. 
Uh, and I feel so much like that's exactly, you know, where, where I am of, of, of really becoming aware of what, how is my aura sitting? Am I, am I, am I making sure that I say, I want this audience. I want to engage. I want this beautiful full community of other artists and healers and late bloomers and speakers and creatives and mothers and parents and nurturers and, you know, and guides, all of these things like that's oof. Yeah. That's major that I want all that's, that's what I want to be surrounded in. That's what makes me feel safe. I'm not going to be able to attract that or make and have those people find me and find them if I am not fully in that space of it, it is safe and you are welcome here. This is where love happens. This is where creativity happens, right? This is where laughter happens. This is where comedy happens. We're not taking ourselves so seriously here, right? We can leave serious and right versus wrong and you did this and you did that. We can let the rest of the world do that. But when you're here, when you're with me, everything is good. We're here to sit down. We're going to have some coffee. We're going to have some tea. We're going to set out some fresh flowers and we're just going to vibe, right? Okay. So if you are, this is the first time listening, what an episode for you. You know what I mean? Just welcome to it. Uh, if you've been here before, you know that when uh, I do card reads, I'm just going to quietly uh, close my eyes. I encourage you, not if you're driving um, or holding a small, a small child, go ahead and just close your eyes. You can put your hands on your heart. Um take a deep breath 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 in and out just kind of letting all of that sediment all that high energy fall all the way down there we go and we'll just say i am love i'm surrounded by love and here we go okay let's see what we got Ooh, okay. Whoa. Ah. This one kind of fell out at me, and um, this one I was really attracted to. When I pulled the deck, I looked um, down, and it was the first one. And sometimes when that happens, I like to keep them just in case um, to see what really resonates. As I always say, uh, my intuition works uh, just like going uh, to the Olive Garden you get your salad, they come over with a little parm churmer and they say, churmer, churner. And they say, uh, you say when, right? And you know when to go, that's enough. That's your intuition. So it's the same thing when I'm being guided to pull something. I feel like I'm connecting with my higher self and they say when, and that's the pull, right? So typically that's when it is the most resonant. So the card that I saw initially was, this is clay element. This is super earthy and it says embodiment and physicality, Okay embodiment and physicality. And the second card that I, that literally fell out at me, this is metal element. This is deflecting negativity and transmitting positivity. Okay. And I like to set them on top like this because I feel like you can't, you got to base your own embodiment and physicality that has to be so strong here to be able to do this top part. And what I really love about, I'm going to focus more on this uh, deflecting negativity and transmitting positivity because this card is exactly what, when we do this energy work, when we have that aura nice, big and open, because that's always our fear, right? Many, as many of us have been hurt when we've tried to be seen or people say a negative comment on our TikTok or our family's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe, oh, you think you're going to start a Reiki business? You know, whatever the thing is, okay? We all have been there that that makes us go, Phew, it's not safe to be seen versus when we know that we are in control, that our higher power, God, Christ, consciousness, wh whatever that is that you're connecting to, guides, ancestors, you fill in the blank here that we are safe. So we have the ability walking through the world in this stance, walking through the world saying, I, I am, it is safe to be seen. It is safe to be me. I give love. So I am loved. Can I say that takes balls? Okay. So if you, you and I are going to get to the place where being here, when we choose to be, 
is no problem. That's as easy as going, oh, I'm hungry. Great. I'm going to grab a hard boiled egg and a banana or whatever it is. Okay. You're like, I don't eat eggs. Relax. Okay. Whatever it is for you. Right. It is going to be by next May, this is going to be a muscle. We're not even going to have to think about it. Right. So we have 12 months to get so good at being us at a high frequency that naturally our entire audience, what is around us, our community, everything is going to come right into us. You say 12 months, I don't have that much time, Rachel. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Because to get to a place to have even gotten to this place where you are, I know the investment has been longer than a year. And in fact, we want the runway. We want the time to get so good at this that this is what we do without thinking. What we do is we deflect that negativity and we create, we transmit positivity. That it's no more that, it's not us having to go, I am safe to be here. I am safe to be here, right? That's novice and that's fine. That's where we are. But how fucking cool when you get to the place where this audience has come in, these uh, students, these lovers, these, you know, whatever it is, the money, all of these things that have come in for you, the knowledge, the opportunity, the steps forward, because you're just here now. You're just here now. It's not about convincing yourself or convincing others. You've walked it. You've done it now for 365 that we know that we have the ability to deflect that negativity. That doesn't mean that like people aren't going to hurt your feelings. Okay. We're all still human. Relax. But that you'll get to a point that you just accept that you accept that when you play big and when you play from your heart, people don't like that. As much as you're going to find your people, you're also going to, those people are going to find you and they're not going to like you, a lot of them. And that's okay. That's okay. That's okay, man. And in fact, I would argue that then you know it's working, right? It's like, okay, so now not only are your own people noticing you and what you, what you're, what you're giving out, what you're transmitting, people who there is parts of them that are ready, that want to be there. That's why they're connecting to you. But consciously and where they are in their journey here, they can't go there yet. Okay. So now, yeah, you're really making moves. All right. So lastly, I'm just going to leave you with, let's see if I can find these cards in here real quick. Okay. So these are, it's actually interesting that both of these are element cards and they're very subtle. These are uh, two subtle elements. And so one, which was metal. And the key words were deflecting negativity and transmitting positivity. And the function is to provide protection, stops unhealthy behaviors and dark entities. It's interesting because I recently was talking about this where I often feel like I am, uh, I've been working on protecting myself and there was a counterpoint of like, well, you know, sometimes if you're protecting yourself of something, then that's saying that there's something outside of you that can hurt you. Sure. That's one way of looking at it. I, I'm not saying that I have to protect myself from like, you know, other people or especially like dark entities or anything like that. That's not the kind of podcast here. And I don't do that. Okay. I don't go there, but I think there is something to knowing that you do a lot of fucking work to, to do the work that you do. Meaning you're going to therapy, you're doing breath work, you're going to sweat saunas, you're journaling, you're doing your morning pages, you're eating right. You're making, you are doing so much work that other people or other things, other opinions do not deserve your energy. And so I think that's so much of what, that, what this feels. And also it's providing protection. I love that it stops unhealthy behaviors. Even within this, with being unfurled, you can't make decisions that are not in service of yourself when you're out like this because you're fully exposed, Right. So it's like, what are all of those small aspects of things that you're kind of like, you keep kind of dipping back into, dipping back into, and they're pulling that energy, right? So I really love this very much. And then uh, the, the clay element, and this is embodiment and physicality. And this I love so much, which is adds to what already exists, invites transformation according to one's nature, adds to what already exists. Everything you want to be, you already are. So that is why it's safe to unfurl. No matter whether it's negative, you knowing that it's like, it's safe. So I'm out here doing me. 
I'm positive. My heart's in the right place. It's safe. Okay. So that's what we're going to keep building on. And I trust that that resonates. Please let me know. Like I, I always say, like, I, I am doing this to connect with you guys. This is not being done in a vacuum, uh, although some days it feels like it. So I want to know. I'm so grateful every time you message me. And, and again, this is not like, oh, my God, like I'm like doing it right. But it's just like, is it helpful? You know what I mean? Like me out here un unflailed. Is it helpful? So let me know. Connect with me. Let me know. Oh, I was doing this thing. I'm working on this thing. Uh, if you guys have energy practices for yourself that help you get into that state, let me know. I would love to connect. Uh, I've got some Exciting news coming up. I will be in Boston in June. So more will be coming out about that. My 30 minute comedy special is out. It's live. It dropped tired mom on YouTube dropped yesterday, May 1st. That was my birthday. Uh, so I am celebrating this new trip around the sun, which is why today this episode just feels so perfectly aligned where it's like, that's what we're doing. All right, 38, we're going big, we go home. That's it, right? Um, we're taking everything we had. Like, we're almost 40. We got big girl pants on. We are not scared. We can do it. It is safe to be seen, be seen, be loved, okay? So that's it. Uh, so please go and watch that. If you like comedy, if you think this is funny, you have no idea. So please go and watch that. Uh, the link is right here. If you like it, share it with a friend. I have so many clips that will be coming out on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. Please share them humbly please share them. Okay. Uh, this is not built alone. And I, if they bring you joy, I hope that means that they bring somebody else joy. So can we do that? Can we just make people remember that there's a lot of joy in the world and we can have a little bit of fun and everybody can relax their crack just a little bit. Okay. Um, so I got that coming up. My books are open for my creative eye sessions and the misfit light, uh, sessions known as the misfit path. Many of you are walking on your path. You know where you want to be. Uh, maybe you've let go of a lot of things. Again, all these things we talk about here on the podcast, we are basically shrinking all this down and making it directly for you. I'm coming into your aura field, into your journey, and we're going to pick out what we don't need. We're going to make action steps. We're going to create like a way that when we get off the phone, it's not like, oh, okay, well, that felt nice. I guess I'll listen to that and get in six months. It's like, no, you now have a list of like, here are the things we're going to do starting today. Okay. And we're going to walk ourselves there. So if that's something you would love to do, I would be honored to meet with you, hear about your story, get you on the path and get you moving. Okay. So as I like to say, that is spiritual couture. All right. We're going to mold it specifically to what you need. So maybe you need some Reiki. Maybe we're going to talk to your guides. Uh, maybe there's going to be a lot more of those kind of higher spiritual elements. Maybe there's going to be more, you know, hands on earthly politics of it all. So, uh, if you're curious, if that's for you, you can book a free 15 minute call. Uh, you can see if you're into it before you buy, you know what I mean? I get it. Uh, so you can book that as well on my website. So for all that and more, everything at rachelaforce.com. And again, please go and watch tired mom on YouTube. And for now, let's get in it. Let's get big. Okay. So I'm going to see you back here, right here, maybe right here in May of next year. And we're going to see, uh, all of the growth that happened between now and then. All right. So the clock starts now. All right. Tune out, tune in. Love you, mean it.